Hello everyone, today I'm going to be taking you through the step-by-step -step process to create a shoji screen window. So I have two windows here and a third window there. I'm not going to go so much into how I created the round feature, but basically all I did was use a router on a compass and create that round feature and then the steps are kind of the same to make that inner kind of uh, inner rib frame. But yeah, I'm going to take you through the whole process. And these are interior windows, they're kind of just decorative. They'll actually just pull out, just like that. And there's a real window behind there. And I just created an inner frame that kind of locks it into place. So I'm gonna show you step by step how to do that. And hopefully you enjoy this video and can do something similar. So the first step really is to create this frame, this inner frame. So this is a separate inner frame, just four pieces that I cut the length based on the size of the window. And I wanted to make sure that it was a tight fit. So I cut this inner frame and uh, pressed it in, made sure it was tight fit. I used just a uh, table saw to cut it. And from there, I uh, just screwed it together using four screws at each end. And that was about it, that was done. So once that was done, I started to focus on the actual window. And with the actual window, kind of similar, I, uh, I wanted it to go around the original window frame. So I, cre I used one and a half inch wide by, th by three quarter inch thick pieces of, of um, wood and cut them to length to go around the whole window. So that's four pieces. And this time though, to screw them all together, I used pocket screws. And the pocket screws just went in behind here. And then I used a router to cut notches um, into the actual uh, wooden frame around the whole window. And so that was for the insert of the, or the webbing. And for the webbing, I had to cut Using the circular saw again, I just lowered the height of the saw and I cut um, halfway into each of the ribs so that they would fit together. And I just had to calculate, you know, where I'd have to cut, 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 and then piece it all together and then use wood glue to secure it in place. And wood glue there, wood glue there, wood glue there. And that's, um, once that was done, I sanded everything to make sure it was nice and smooth. And then I stained it all, and then I polyurethaned it all. And then I went ahead and attached the rice paper on the back of this. And I just wrote, I cut it to length, um, used the, the glue, and glued it all using a brush, and then rolled it flat using just my hands and the paper. Let it dry for uh, half a day or so. And then, once it was dry, I screwed on that original wood inner frame right to the center of the window frame. And that pretty much completed the window. The last final step was I bought some Velcro, and this is just kind of to help it secure in case it wasn't tight enough. Uh, the Velcro will just hold it into place. So I put the, the hard or the hook loop system of the Velcro up on the the window I was originally inserting it into, and then the fuzzy part on the back of the um, faux window here. And with that, once all that's complete, you can fit it into place. And you have your window. Just like that. So pretty simple process. It is time consuming making all these little cuts and creating the window. It probably took me close to five, five total hours to do. Uh, maybe even a little longer since I did two windows. But it's a cool effect, it's a cool process and definitely something I am happy with how it turned out. So especially the circular window is pretty cool. And I like the design I made for it, so yeah, really happy. And I'm happy and excited to get this Airbnb launched. Um, so we're making a Japanese style Airbnb, and that's why we're using all these decorations. We just put down this nice wood flooring, 
and we built that kotatsu. So it'll be pretty cool once it's all up and running. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you find out our whole Airbnb process once we start marketing it and once we start getting um, short, short term tenants in here, uh, how they like the property and maybe how you could do it yourself. Because we just converted an old storage area where we were just storing our junk and made it into a livable space. No kitchen or anything, but we do have a bathroom and it's livable and hopefully it will be income producing as opposed to junk collecting. So I hope you liked it. Give us a thumbs up. See you guys next time. Godspeed.